Hi guys, I just want to show you my new aquaponics design. Uh, this is something that is really um, easy to make for beginners. Um, so uh, this is uh, a design I came up with uh, to uh, try out aquaponics in my apartment's uh, balcony. So it's a very minimalistic design. Um, the thing is that um, I just uh, didn't want to waste a lot of time doing plumping um, making unnecessary fixtures that are difficult to remove just in case it uh, didn't work out. So um, this is what I came up with. Um, I have my um, aquarium here on the balcony. I'll show you um, the live setup sometime soon. Uh, so I have a small motor uh, that pumps in water uh, into uh, uh, the PVC setup. Uh, the thing about the PVC setup is uh, that um, the inlet pipe is placed inside the larger 3 or 4 inch diameter pipe. Um, so I did this uh, to avoid additional plumbing because I didn't want something um, or someone to trip over or cause leaks um, or uh, you know I don't want basically water to spray um, up inside my apartment. So um, what I did is I placed uh, a half inch PVC inside the main chamber and uh, pumped the water into that uh, PVC pipe. So what happens is the water flows through here and gets released at the end of the pipe and um, it flows back through uh, the main uh, PVC pipe back into the reservoir. That, um, so you know, um, that way creating a good uh, flow of uh, water. Um, so uh, in my case I used uh, 3 inch PVC for the external um, casing and inside I believe I used uh, half inch. It uh, shouldn't matter, you know, it just depends on how much water you are pumping in. So half inch should uh, do just fine. And um, since it was a trial setup, uh, what I did is um, I used uh, Teflon tapes uh, instead of um, using gum or you know, um, synthetic material to uh, tighten or fasten the uh, PVC. I used Teflon tapes. Uh, so far it's been two weeks and there are no leaks or anything. Um, the thing is uh, it helps me to disassemble it quite easily or reuse the things just in case you know it didn't work out really well. Uh, but so far uh, it's, uh, it's shown no leaks and um, there's a good amount of water stored inside the PVC so um, uh, so far so good. Um, so here um, um, this is uh, you can uh, use a cap at the end um, to stop the uh, flow of water or uh, in my case I used a bend because I wanted something to um, um, hold up the pipe. Um, I'll show you why I did that later. Um, and here it's a you know T joint. So what happens is you know I, I place it vertical. It might not be apparent in the picture here, but uh, I pump out, um, pump in the water through the top part, and the water flows through to the end and comes back and flows out back into the aquarium through the uh, uh, bottom of the T joint. Uh, in my scenario, uh, the pump was placed uh, at the end of the T joint, um, but it doesn't matter where you place the pump. Uh, the basic idea I use is to pump in through the top and let the water come back and flow in and flow back uh, through the bottom. So that's my basic design. I'll show you in a different video um, the live setup and probably um, uh, how things are working after a few weeks. Thank you.